and I'm here with Vicardio. I've got Steve and David. Um, so, guys, I, I really wanted to start by asking, perhaps with you, Steve. Um, so, what's your background? What brings you to this world of, of blood pressure monitoring? So, my background is I'm an engineer and became a lawyer. I had a 22-year practice with the largest intellectual property law firm in the world, Fish and Richardson. And during the course of my work, I came to be introduced to the founders of Vicardio and helped build a patent portfolio around that technology. As the technology was coming toward its market launch, which will happen in 2019, um, I decided to myself I wanted to take a pretty radical career jump and join the, the Vicardio and, and its parent company, Terillion Laser Technology team and on the inside. And that's what I did one year ago today. Very yeah, happy to be part of the team. Conference talks are now resuming. Okay, I think we'll just wait and maybe crop through this bit on the audio. <laughs> just so we lose the announcement, but that was great. Um, that is, the conference talks are now Excellent. So, so how about you, David? You come from a, perhaps a different background. What brings you to Vicardia? Yeah, I'm, my background is as a general practitioner and I've been in uh, medical and legal IT for nearly 20 years now. I was introduced by, to Vicardio first and Terillion Laser Technologies as an investor, uh, but soon really realised the absolute importance of this technology for medicine worldwide and so have become more involved in, in looking at the, the strategy for bringing Vicardio to market and the IT background and uh, support for that product. Well, perhaps you can expand on that. So you mentioned its importance within medicine worldwide. Um, can you talk a bit more to, to what the product is really doing within that ecosystem? Yeah, I mean, cuffless blood pressure monitoring uh, has been a 50-year journey of somebody trying to find a solution to the traditional oscillometric cuff. Uh, that is an inaccurate technology. It's painful, it's disliked, it's cumbersome. And the idea of having a wearable beat-to-beat -beat blood pressure product, which is, doesn't compress the artery and can take multiple readings throughout the day and even night, has, has really, really been something which the world's been striving for. And when I came across uh, Terrillion Laser Technologies and, and the Vicardio product, uh, I saw that this technology works and it can absolutely revolutionise the world of blood pressure monitoring. Sure. So. Um Steve, perhaps we'll move to you now. So within the sort of commercial side of this, when we're talking about the impact that a B2B -B blood pressure um, monitor can have within this space, sort of what's, what's your target uh, for, for this device when you're looking in terms of commercialization and development? So it's a broad applicability technology. Uh, David alluded to with Vicardio, Vicardio, it is uh, direct to consumer with a focus toward hypertensives who are trying to manage their blood pressure on a day-to-day -day basis. But it goes way beyond that. Um, it goes into the important hospital community to have a technology that can get blood pressure through the entire process, through intake, through a critical care procedure, to, and very importantly, in the recovery ward, to make recovery less painful than having your arm squeezed every 15 minutes. So that's, so, and then you can imagine integrating our technology into the mass uh, health and fitness wearables. So there's a broad range of market segments that we're interested in, and we're interested in making partnerships to pursue all of those. Excellent. So what about the near term? What are you looking to now? What's happening with Vicardio at the moment? Uh, what about the commercialization in the near future? I mean, perhaps David? Yeah, yeah so it's a very exciting time. We've, we've recently completed successfully our clinical trial at BART's where we've compared Vic Vicardio and the Trillion Sensor to the, the gold standard, the arterial line. We're hopefully days away from having the independent statisticians report on that trial. And following that, we'll be applying for immediately for our, our CE mark and then FDA uh, approval in sort of quarter two, 2019. And at the same time, we are, we are in our final prototypes, uh, which have come on a huge amount since we last spoke in, in Berlin. Uh, and, uh, and we're building up the, the 
app and we now got today we've been demonstrating the app on, on iOS which has been really good to see uh, and, and so yeah the the e-commerce back end and, and bringing that product to market as soon as we get the C marking is is our priority. Excellent and I see Steve you're you're wearing an early version of the product here is yeah. this? This is Vicardio and this is the design as it will be launched to the market um, it it uh, it communicates with your smartphone so you'll get the waveform of blood pressure the continuous waveform of blood pressure on your smartphone plus blood pressure measurements for each beat of your heart fantastic well it's really great to hear updates from you guys like hearing how much you've come since we I guess last spoke at the ID Tech show in Berlin back in April this year seeing the prototype hearing the progress with the trial it's really great to see for a really really important application so thank you for being here and thank you for this interview uh, and all the best with the future in terms of getting those C mark FDA approval and then commercializing this product okay thank you thanks